Well, folks, it finally happened. Breaking news. Tattooed Chef, Jeremy LaFave's number one and most highly pumped stock in the history of his YouTube channel, Tattooed Chef stock, has officially went bankrupt. That's right. They ran out of money. They're done. They're finished. <laughs> it's over. The company's finally finished. Uh, they've ran out of business. And so let's go ahead and read this article. Tattooed Chef intends to file for voluntary Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and pursue a sale of assets under Section 363 of the United States Bankruptcy Code. Gosh, I wonder who could have saw that coming. Now, I want to make it very clear. Myself and Fabio Capital Mindset and Cole and uh, Strongman Personal Finance and everybody else who talked about it, we're not geniuses because we predicted that Tattooed Chef was going to go bankrupt. Because make no mistake, we've been saying for a year now that Tattooed Chef would eventually go bankrupt. It's not that we're geniuses. It's that Jeremy LaFave is so dumb. Yes, he's that dumb. He's that dumb that even though most people with half a brain could clearly see that Tattooed Chef was no good, this guy still proceeded to do this. Say crazy stuff like this. Like, for example, this YouTube video. Tattooed Chef is my next Tesla stock. Yeah, I said it. I want all the smoke today, which most of you guys know is just absolutely insane and stupid to compare a vegan food company. If you just think about it, if you just use common sense, I need you guys to understand how stupid Jeremy Lefebvre is and why I really don't like this guy. You don't even have to be intelligent in terms of investing or have a finance background to understand this. It's very simple. Let's pretend you and I both know nothing about the stock market, don't even know what the stock market is. If somebody comes to you and says, do you know who Elon Musk is? Yes, I do. Okay, but you don't know anything about stocks, right? No. Okay. What if I told you that somebody said on YouTube that a company that sells expensive vegan food at the grocery store is going to be the next Elon Musk Tesla company? Even somebody who doesn't know anything about stocks is going to tell you you're out of your mind if you think that a vegan food company is going to be the next Tesla. You can't even compare the industry. Even the industries aren't comparable. You're comparing a massive car company that also does a bunch of other stuff and is working on autonomous driving and different things like that. You're comparing that company to a frozen food, not even food, not even meat company. Frozen food vegan company. They only sell vegan food. They, it ain't like they selling burgers and fries at Walgreens or Walmart. They selling vegan food. <laughs> like what the? It is insane how stupid this guy is. And the reason why we have to laugh and make fun of him, I know we got a lot of crybabies in the comments who are going to say, you know, well, you're making fun of Jeremy. That's not right. Leave him alone. He's been through another. Shut up. This right here has nothing to do with you and your little feelings because you worship an idiot on YouTube. That's your problem. I don't care. This video has everything to do with protecting new investors who get swindled by these guys and also using him as a learning example. We are using this clown to highlight the dangers of following random people on YouTube who don't know what the flapjack they're talking about. This guy said, let's look at all the crazy videos this guy said. So first he said, Tattooed Chef is my next Tesla stock. Let's go ahead and look at what else. Um, I don't see anything else, but hold on. I'll find it. Tattooed Chef stock, 10X. Didn't he say something like that? It's the next 10X stock. Here we go. Look, why TTCF stock will 10X 1,000% buying TTCF stock back? Oh, this is funny. I didn't even know he was buying the stock back. I'm missing out. So... First, he made a video saying I sold TTCF. Then he made a video saying I'm buying TTCF stock back. Keep in mind, this was a month ago. Fast forward, the stock is now bankrupt. Uh, here's some of the other videos. He said, oh, crap. TTCF stock won't 10x now. This stock will 10x now. This is why he's talking about Tattoo Chef stock. So, so let's just break down why it was so obvious, right? Well, first off, they were spending a crap ton of money on marketing. Um, they never turned a profit ever. They, they never became profitable ever, never made money. 
Um, let's see what else. Oh, that's right. They had all these weird accounting issues with their balance sheet and their uh, quarterly report. They couldn't even do that right. As a matter of fact, they didn't even report it on time and they never really gave a reason as to why. So their accounting was trash. They were spending a crap ton on marketing. They had terrible management. They're selling a bad product. They're also selling a product that was in what we call a phase. There was this weird phase like a few years ago where people were starting to move towards vegan food and vegan meat and Tattoo Chef tried to take advantage of that. But just like what we saw with Peloton during the pandemic, some things just go through fads. They just have phases. They have these phases where they just explode and then eventually they die down. It's not like Apple or Facebook or Microsoft, something that's been around forever and has been popular forever like apple products are some things just have phases and some things just stay around forever remember the fidget spinners the fidget spinners were very popular at one time that was a phase remember uh i don't know vine vine was a thing Faded out, faded out. Look at Snapchat. That was a thing. Faded away. Some things just don't make it long term. It's very hard for something to survive long term. And one of the biggest problems with Jeremy is Jeremy didn't do his research. Jeremy didn't do his homework. And Jeremy ultimately didn't know what the heck he was talking about. And here's the funny part, folks. This ain't even the first stock Jeremy's talked about that went bankrupt. Anybody remember a stock called... What was it? VYGVF, I think. Otherwise known as Voyager Digital. Look, he even made a video about it. This stock has lost me everything. Jeremy made a video about a stock called Voyager Digital, which was this scummy, scamming, garbage crypto brokerage that basically went bankrupt. And the stock plummeted 99% of one day, which caused Jeremy's money to plummet 99% of one day. And he lost $250,000. So ultimately, what can you really take away from this? I think the ultimate thing to take away from this, guys, is not only is Jeremy a clown, not only should you not listen to YouTubers, but I really think that there should be some type of repercussions to this guy. I mean, this guy not only legit gives financial advice on YouTube, but he's responsible for a lot of destroyed uh, financial futures. This man has single-handedly destroyed a lot of people's financial futures. There was even a guy who made a YouTube video and his YouTube video went viral where he basically said, I lost all my money in Jeremy Lefebvre's tattooed chef stock. Now, the last thing I want to touch on is I know there are a lot of people, you know, we got some grumpy grandpas in the comments who are like, oh, why are you listening to another YouTuber? You shouldn't do that. Ah, shut up. I'm really sick of that tired argument because here's the deal. Although I agree with you, some of the blame should go to the people who listen to a random idiot on YouTube in the first place. Yes, they do share some of the blame. It's their fault, ultimately, that they chose to do something stupid with their money. However, that does not excuse the scammer or the problematic person themselves. I really want to make sure we understand this. I truly believe that 70% of the blame should go to the grifter, the scammer, the liar, and 30% of the blame should go to the newbie. Why? Well, folks, no matter how many times you call people stupid or you say it's their fault or whatever you want to say, there's always going to be another sucker. If you're new to the market and you don't know anything or you don't know where to go or whatever, and you're just looking at YouTube to find how to do this, it's really easy to get tricked by these people and it's really easy to get caught up in the hype. So we got to make sure that we touch on these things because, yeah, it's just absolutely hilarious. And by the way, Jeremy has to be blocked. So I would love to comment under his video and say, Tattoo Chef just went broke, you clown loser. And, you know, I don't know if he's ever going to address it. He probably won't, but that's OK, because I definitely will. And so, yeah. Um, anyway, those are really my thoughts regarding Jeremy Lefebvre. Uh, again, one of the worst investors in the history of YouTube finance and an absolute disgrace to humanity, an absolute disgrace to mankind, an absolute disgrace to the finance community, an absolute disgrace to the United States of America. And I truly believe that. I think this guy is an absolute fraud. I think this guy is stupid. I think he's an idiot. I think he's dumb. I don't think he's intelligent. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. I don't think he's ever helped anybody. People can lie all they want and say, oh, Jeremy, blah, 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 we're talking Tesla, I don't want to hear it. This guy's a scumbag, a liar, a grifter. He doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. And we now have a growing list of companies that have now gone bankrupt that this guy spent years pumping and promoting in his Discord chat, in his stock 
Fortress, whatever that crap's called, in his Hungry Bull app and on his different YouTube channels. And it's wrong and it needs to stop. So those are my opinions. Jeremy is a clown. Worst of the worst. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.